Hello, my friends. We are now only a few, very few short days until Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, one of my favorite times of the year. Tonight's story is going to be an interesting one. It's about an older lady who, um, who makes mittens for people of all ages. And these mittens have a bit of an interesting flavor to them. <laughs> but I hope that you enjoy the story of Granny Glittens and her amazing mittens. A story you will not believe by Gertrude Crampton. Once there was an old woman who made mittens from good wool yarn. She made fine warm mittens. Right into the mittens she could knit a boy on a sled, a girl on skates, two yellow ducks, or anything else you could name. All the mothers and fathers for miles around ordered mittens for their children from Gladden Gittens. Needles would flash and knit yarn pictures in the old lady's kitchen from morning till night. Granny Glittens made mittens because she liked to make mittens, and she made mittens to sell. Those mittens paid for the coal to keep Granny's little house warm. They paid for the egg for Granny's breakfast. They even paid for the milk for Granny's black cat. Now, of course... Granny Glittens was very busy. Just before Christmas, every child wanted a new pair of Granny's mittens for Christmas. Then the needles flashed in the morning, and in the evening, and in the middle of the day. But just before Christmas, everything went wrong. Oh, Granny Glittens had orders and orders for mittens. She had so many orders that she kept saying to herself, Perhaps I can buy a fine new stove for my kitchen. Yes, the orders came in. It was the yarn that was wrong. Granny Glittens had to send to the city for yarn. She ordered red yarn and brown yarn and green yarn and yellow yarn and black yarn. But the store sent white yarn. Balls and balls of white yarn. Nothing but white yarn. With the yarn came a letter. Dear Granny Glittens, We do not have red yarn or brown yarn or green yarn, or yellow yarn, or black yarn. All we have is white yarn. We have asked the other stores. They do not have red yarn, or brown yarn, or green yarn, or yellow yarn, or black yarn. All they have is white yarn. So we are sending you white yarn. We are sorry. The store. Oh, 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 said Granny Glittens. Nobody wants white mittens. What shall I do? The black cat came into the kitchen. Granny said to him, I must think. Oh, I must think. So she thought and thought and thought. Supper time came. Granny was still thinking. At last, the black cat began to cry for milk. Poor cat, she said. It is dark. You are hungry, and so am I. I will think some more later. She poured some milk for the cat. Then she opened her cupboard to see what she could find for herself. Red peppermints, green wintergreen, brown chocolate, black licorice, and yellow lemon drops. They were the colors she needed for her mittens. Do you think? she asked the cat. Well, the only way to find out is to find out. She got out five pans from the cupboard, and she put them all on the stove. Then she put the peppermints in one, the wintergreen in another, the chocolate in the third, the licorice in the next, and the lemon drops in the last. Granny Glitton stirred the five pans very carefully with five spoons. Then she put a ball of white yarn into the peppermints. The yarn turned a beautiful red. She put a ball of yarn in each pan and stirred more carefully than ever. When each ball was the right color, she took it out and put it in another. It was late that night, and everyone else had been sleeping for hours and hours before Granny Glittens had all the red and green and brown and yellow and black yarn she needed. 
Oh my goodness, she said to the cat. I am tired and I am so hungry. I could eat this yarn. I forgot all about my supper. Just for fun, and to show the cat how hungry she was, Granny Glittens bit off a small piece of red yarn. It tasted good. Granny tasted the other colors too. Granny Glittens smiled and smiled, and the next morning the knitting needles flashed and turned. The new mittens were wonderful. Not only did they have yellow ducks and fir trees and dancing bears and snowmen with white hats, the children could eat the yellow ducks and fir trees and dancing bears and snowmen with white hats. Granny Glittens sold so many mittens that she bought a lovely shiny new stove for her kitchen. And of course, she was knitting mittens all year round because as soon as ever a father or a mother bought a child a pair of mittens, the child said that they were the best present he ever had. And then he ate them. Can you believe it? Well, one thing that I can say about Granny Glitton's mittens is they were heavy in fiber. <laughs> and they were so tasty, too. I hope that you enjoyed the story of Granny Glitton's and her amazing mittens. I hope that you have a wonderful night. God bless. 